23 year old Jeffrey Gonzalez died Thursday morning when a driver ran a red light. That driver is said to be an impaired juvenile. So this happened at Windmill and Torrey Pines in the southwest part of the valley, and that's where we find 8 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough, where a memorial is now growing for Gonzalez. Yes, people have been stopping here all this afternoon, leaving mementos, as you can see, from this memorial and trying to comprehend what happened Thursday morning as 23-year-old Jeffrey Gonzalez lived nearby. He was struck by a teen driver believed to be trying to get away from police. Thursday morning, Clark County School District police tried to stop a Chrysler minivan for possible drug activity near Sierra Vista High School. The driver sped off, and then a short time later, that driver ran a red light at Windmill Lane and Torrey Pines, hitting 23-year-old Jeffrey Gonzalez's car. Neighbors who witnessed the crash say speeding is the number one problem in this area. I heard a lot of yelling, people yelling for a long period of time. Prior to putting the signal in a few months ago, this was a kind of a dangerous intersection. It's had a lot of, of uh, accidents. I just saw parts of pieces of the cars, you know, still on the road even after they left. I, I can't even recall how many accidents there are on Torrey Pines and Windmill, uh, at least over a dozen that I've, 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 I've seen it encounter. Police released that the driver of the minivan is a teenage boy who showed signs of impairment. Annabelle Terry lives across from where the accident took place and worries someone will crash into her backyard. You know, every day I do worry because people do go speeding down behind windmill and, and, and I'm afraid that, you know, uh, somebody is going to go through that wall one day. Who knows? You know, the driver now facing DUI resulting in death and reckless driving resulting in death charges because he's a juvenile. His name and age has not been released. Now we reached out to the Gonzalez family to send our condolences. Obviously they were too upset to talk, but there have been several people to come up to this memorial. You can see across the way leaving flowers and candles. Now we learned that Jeffrey was a graduate of Sierra Vista High School where he played baseball. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, live local now.